What's up guys, Sharky Choshi here again, bringing you another battle video. So we did get two losses on our belt already. Uh, hopefully we can go ahead and uh, negate that. So we are 4-2, uh, 15-39. Uh, we lost to a very, I, I played very terribly in my first loss. And the second loss, we were, could, my team wasn't prepared for a Dark Void team. So 14-52 from the United Kingdom. Uh, hopefully we have a great game here and not something that's very stompy. So his team... His team is very weak to Landers, from what I can see here. Uh, Landers can put in a lot of work against this team. So he has a Waldron, a Lopunny, a Volcarona, a Bunnel... I almost said Bunnel B. A Diggers B, an Ataria, and last but not least, a Thunderous to round up his lineup. So the Thunderous is the most scariest part of his team. Um, Thunderous is... yeah, Thunderous is power. Thunderous is life. So I think bringing rain is going to be very good here. Um, bringing rain, yeah, bringing rain is going to be the best option here. So his possible megas are his La Bunny and his Altaria. I don't, I don't know what he's going to bring in. Uh, most, most of like, more than likely that is a scarf. Uh, Diggers B almost said Bunnel B again. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think leading off with rain is going to be very strong. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and lead off with Rain and then have Landorus in the back because Landorus is, is power, Landorus is love, Landorus is life, and I th don't think Aegislash is going to be good in this situation, but I'm going to go ahead and bring him anyway because uh, why not? Let's go ahead and do that and uh, hopefully we have a good battle. Oh, the songs. They're just so hyped and pumped. Let's get let's let's concentrate here because we did get two losses in the last two videos, and uh, hopefully we can get uh, a win here and uh, get back on our rating ladder and trade thing. I'm a dupopper, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out these two Pokemon. Uh, Swampert does counter the hell out of Landorus. I mean, uh, uh, the Thunderous, Thundorus, and Drizzle is gonna come out. Volcarona is a good lead by his part, so he can go ahead and Willow West me uh, whenever he pleases. And, uh, who should I take out? The Landorus? Should I take out the Volcarona or the Thundurus first? Um, I'm afraid of getting burnt. That is a big issue here. Um, I don't care if I... I can't get T-Wave, so that's the good thing. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and scout out what he's going to do. So, double protecting is a good option here. So, let's go ahead and double protect and see what he's going to do. So, I can get the speed boost with Swampert. And see what he can do. See what he's going to do. So he's going to withdraw Volcarona. And um, so essentially this is a free turn. So La Pony is his Mega Evolution. Um, good to see. Don't want to deal with Nataria. I haven't faced it uh, yet. But La Pony is a very scary Pokemon. And it's been seeing a lot of play. And it's, uh, it does a lot of work. So my Protect is going to go off. So I can get the Speed Boost next turn. And I'm going to go ahead and Protect with Politoed. So he's going to attack with his Landorus. From what I see here. He's probably going to go for a Thunderbolt. Um, Thunder Punch. Huh. Interesting. So he's going to go for a Thunder Punch there. Let's go for a... Should I kill the La Pony or the Thunderous? Let's go for... Let's go ahead and try and take out the La Pony as quickly as possible. And then go ahead and switch into Landorus. Which I think is a good move here. Since he revealed Thunder Punch, which is very interesting. Assuming this thing is a physical attacker. He's using it as a physical attacker. Going with this Intimidate is going to be very good. So uh, even if he fakes out my, um, even if he fakes out my Swampert, it doesn't matter to me. Um, Swampert, Swampert can take it very well because he is intimidated. And uh, yeah, God, it's freaking cold. Fake out onto the Swampert. That is fine with me. Whoa, that was a critical hit. There's so many crits. I've been getting crit left and right. Like, come on, man, stop critting me. So let's go for a Waterfall onto the Thunderous. Is that a good move? Actually, no. Let's go for an Ice Punch. That would do a lot more damage. Ice Punch, and then go for a... Let's go for a Rock Slide. Ice Punch, Rock Slide. Uh, oh, La Pony avoids. Hopefully, hopefully I can knock out the Thunderous. I don't, but uh, at least Thunderous is dead. Hopefully. So his Citrus Berry is going to go in and proc. Um, Ice Punch is going to go off. He's probably going to Ice Punch my Lundurus, so really can't do anything about that. What can I do, you know? Um, at least I took that threat out. So he's going to go ahead and Ice Punch my Lundurus. Hopefully it doesn't do enough damage to knock me out. Ugh. The Intimidate. The Intimidate was so good. 
<laughs> the Intimidate was so good. So Digger's B is going to come out. More than likely Scarfed. Um, more than likely. So who should I take out? Is the Lop Bunny more dangerous or is the Digger's B more dangerous? Um, that is the question. Digger's B, I know he gets all the elemental punches in this gen. So um, I think he's pretty dangerous. I can deal with the Lop Bunny later. So let's go ahead and try to take out this Digger's B. And then hope... Yeah, let's go for a Waterfall into the Digger's B, and then switch out Lando into Aegis Slash, and then switch out Aegis Slash for my Rain user again. So so I can repeat the uh, Atimidatos. Aegis Slash is going to come out. Waterfall is going to go ahead and hopefully knock out this Digger's B. If he is Scarfed, yep, uh, knock him out. I am faster than Digger's B because I do have speed investment into this uh, Swampert. And uh, that Ice Punch is going to go straight into um, my Aegis Slash's face. Don't really, don't really care. Um, so I'm in a prime position to win this game. Um, I have two Pokemon that are extremely fast. I have one more turn of rain. So I'm just going to go for the Waterfall here onto the Volcarona. And then go for the King Shield, I think, is a good option here. Um, hopefully I can knock out the Volcarona. Or maybe get a flinch off. I should actually. Volcarona is not that very defensively bulky, and is it? And it is under the rain. More than likely, Focus Slash. There he is. There he is. There. It, there it is. It's Focus Slash. Drain Punch is going to go off onto the Swampert. He's going to do a decent amount of damage. Not enough though. Volcarona does flinch, and uh, that should seal the game for me. So, um, let's go ahead and go for a. Waterfall onto the La Punny. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and knock out this Volcarona. Should I knock out the Volcarona? No. Let's go for the La Punny and then switch into uh, Politoed. Um, I'm not going to be faster because I did lose my Swift Swim and uh, speed does speed does get determined in the beginning of the uh, the beginning of the battle. So I don't have all my speed. So his La Punny is going to be faster than me. Sadly enough, hopefully his Volcarona isn't faster than me. I don't think Volcarona is faster than uh, Mega Swampert. You see, their Drain Punch is going to go off onto the Politoed. He's going to get some health back, but at least I'm going to be able to do damage. Whoa, his Volcarona is faster. So it's probably like Timid 252 or something like that. Uh, crit on Politoed doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and easily seal up this game. That's going to do a lot of damage because I still do get my damage. The crit didn't matter whatsoever. Um, I, I know Waterfalls and Rains can just destroy La Punnies. Um, like a La Punny. So, did he disconnect? From what it looks like? Because it's taking him forever? Yep, he disconnected. Wow. Uh, don't be this guy. Don't be a rager like this guy. Just just take your loss. Save the battle. See what you, see what you did wrong. And, uh... You know, see if you can correct it later on. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later with more battle videos. Bye, guys.